I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Kranz Mud here and today I've got a little gameplay slash review of Kenyon Barner. I, this is one of the cards that I was like, dude, I gotta make a gameplay of it. Great looking card. I love the card art for Campus Heroes. It is a Campus Hero. I believe you can get him up to a 96 overall if you max out his chemistries. Chemistries, Ankle Breaker, and Route Runner. So those aren't too bad. So let's take a look at the stats before we get into the game. Um, this is going to be base, like no chem boost at all. You're going to be able to get him 94 speed, 94 agility, 93 acceleration, 93 carrying, 95 elusiveness, 95 juke move, and 93 ball carrier vision. So really the stats that stand out is that speed. 94 speed is super fast for a running back, especially one that's going for around 120 to 140k. You can get him fairly cheap. But that's a very fast guy. He's got very good elusiveness, very good juke move as well. So if you if you like juking and like spin moves and all that fancy crap that nobody tries, you might like Kenyon Barner. Now I'm going to show you a comparison to probably the back that's most similar to him. Um, and I I just have the milestone Melvin Gordon. Um, but you can see Kenyon Barner beats him in everything except for trucking. And neither of these guys are trucking back. So I don't know if there's a big difference between 84 truck and 72 truck. But I honestly don't think it's going to be that big of a difference. But you can see he beats him in speed, acceleration, carrying, bulk your vision, elusiveness, and juke move. That's insane. All right, so guys, we are going to jump into the gameplay right now. I forgot to set Kenyon Barner as my kick returner there. So I am sorry. We're going to start it off. This is just going to be a regular gameplay. I am going to talk about the Kenyon Barner card as well. Um, as we're just checking it up, bad, bad, stupid play by us. Here is going to be a run by Kenyon Barner, and this is the best part about him. You're going to see, look at that. Just walking right by, running right by people. Second play of the game, 75-yard touchdown. That's going to be the best thing about him. Tosses, um, outside runs are going to be great. Screen passes, I think, are going to be pretty good as well. So, a little bit about my opponent here. He decided he was just going to chew the clock. He went down, took as much time, and he, he sent me this message. If I lose, I get demoted. Please quit. I said, not quitting. I am not a quitter, especially for somebody who just wants to, to get out of the game as fast as they can. So he decided to slow the game down. So this game took me almost an hour to play as we're missing the user right there. So it was a long game. Very, very long game, um, but I think uh, we got to show Kenyon Barner, um, you know, you guys will see him back when we're on offense again. We're struggling on defense right now. Definitely not, uh, not looking too good, and then getting another first down. So, I've been using a, um, a safety. Some people are like, I just use their middle linebacker, but here, look at, look, look at that. Oh, that's not the user. The next play, I think, is my user pick. I think this is my user pick right here. Look at that. Boom. Paul Krause is the best user in the game, period. Whether you, you're thinking about, you know, middle linebacker, outside linebacker, you're thinking about um, safeties. He is the best user there. Another run by Kenyon Barner. Our blocks aren't doing very well. I think pretty much power move and toss are really the only run plays that actually work for me. I thought it was Kenyon Barner. That is actually Latavius Murray right there so don't get him confused it wasn't Barner I should have I don't know if I have another screen pass right there uh, and you can just see the speed like he's almost outrunning his blockers which is not something you want um, particularly sometimes but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can make it work as we're throwing the user pick I actually had Kenyon Barner wide open that time and for some reason I just decided not to throw it to him which would have I mean would have got us some yards would have been able to see more Kenyon Barner here and uh, he's going to go back, chewing up the clock. As you guys can see, okay, he snapped it at 20 seconds there. It's, he, he wants to use as much of the clock up as he can. Like, this game was pissing me off just because it wasn't like he was going out making any crazy play. Look at that user alert, though. I'm telling you, Paul Krause is the best user in the game. Anyways, so he, he just, like, wasn't like he was moving the ball a ton. He was just... You know, being consistent, getting first downs, 
you know, after a third down, chewing up the clock so much. As we hit Brandon Cooks super deep. Um, wish we could have sprung that one for a touchdown. I, hopefully we do throw some more. There's Kenyon Barner right there. Turns upfield. That's one thing I noticed about him. That most other running backs, they won't turn upfield. Especially after they catch a pass. Um, chuck it up to Brandon Cooks there. Nice catch. Walk into the, well, jump into the end zone, I guess. Um... But yeah, Kenyon Barner, it seems like when he catches passes, he's able to turn. And look at this. This is my example. He just called timeouts, went out, spiked the ball, chewed up so much. Like, it took me so long to play. it. Like, I was getting pissed. It was freaking ridiculous, like, how much time this dude was wasting. And he did it the entire game. He said he has all day. And I said... Me too. I was I wasn't quitting. I wanted to get this Kenyon Kenyon Barner gameplay, so I stuck in there for you guys. Yeah, that's right. I'm a nice guy. Here's uh, looks like we're gonna go with another run here. Look at that. Look how fast he switched directions. If I didn't run into my guy right there and get that spin move animation, that probably would have been a touchdown. I went to try to get the ball back in the second half. The way I can chew out some of the clock is I'm up 14-0. Um, screen pass there. We we sniffed that one out. Um, we definitely just tried to get the game over with, uh, and I eventually even let him score. That, like, that's how bad it was. I was letting him score that way I could get the ball back and just chew the clock. So you guys will see it. Another screen pass there. He was definitely moving the ball, which um, you never want that to happen. But especially when he's taking five-minute drives, it was freaking ridiculous here. You can see. Watch. I pull this guy off. Pull that guy off, and I think I, di I died for that one just to make it look like I was trying to, so he wouldn't try to, like, run around. Here's Kenyon Barner on the return. He's uh, keeping up with his blockers, which is good. Um, holds on to the ball there, which is big. That's one big thing for kick returns. I don't like, I only have running backs, really, as kick returners just because I don't want anybody to fumble. And most of the time, I don't even return the kicks. I usually uh, I take him in the end zone if I can um, so we got a little bench concept right here with a little slant across the field looks like that's all covered where's Kenyon Barner I want him to get in the game um, Vincent Jackson make a nice catch there I've, I've perfected my offensive scheme as we're getting tackled by the shoelaces right there that's not what we wanted to see um, right here, I think this is one of the, the best plays Kenyon Barner made. With, look, that playmaker. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to juke him out, which would have been great. I, I'm not good at juking, so it's a little bit... If you're if you're good at juking, if, you, if you've practiced juking, definitely Kenyon Barner is going to be great for you. This is another one of the key plays that I had in this game, I believe. Tossed to the outside, took a hit stick. It looked like one hit stick, one fumble that entire game. So that's... Not really what you want to see with a running back. Um, yeah, so so overall, let me uh, let me see how much I got. Like two minutes left of the gameplay. I'm gonna keep keep the gameplay going, but I want you guys. My opinion on this Kenyon Barner card. It's a good card, user. That's three user lurks with Paul Krause. I'm telling you guys, go pick up Paul Krause and uh, get some user picks with him. Uh, and I don't like he has odd hands, but. He, it's not activated, Ken, because he's a backup, and I sub him in, if that makes sense. So, you don't need hot hands. I, I don't know why everybody's so pumped up about hot hands. I don't think it's that great. Here's another screen pass. Okay, so I did throw another screen pass to him. Um, but so, Kenyon Barner is a great number two, or kick returner, or possibly, um, you know, if you have multiple backs... I think that's the best place for him. He's great at screens. He's great with tosses. But he's not an every down back. You don't want him out there the entire game. And that's really what I wanted to test. And, and it it could just be a fluke. But 93 carrying, you think he wouldn't fumble all that much. Um, and I think route running even boosts carrying up one, I believe. But uh, definitely, I don't like running backs that fumble. That's one of the reasons why I got rid of Adrian Peterson. Um... So I just think you, you're better off having two guys. You, you switch up, move them back and forth, you know, put this guy in uh, first and second down. Kenyon Barner's a good third down. Maybe not a good third down, you know, try to get, you know, one yard kind of thing, but he's good at you know, tosses. He's a great guy to have on the team. That's my opinion of him. You guys can uh, do with it what you want. If you have 120K or 140K you're willing to throw at a backup running back who's going to have maybe five to ten carries tops, 
in a game. I think that's a good option. So here are the stats for Kenyon Barner. Nine rushes, 84 yards. And remember, 75 of those were on one play. So keep that in mind. I don't know if I show the receiving. I didn't. But uh, he did have a lot of receiving yards as well. So here are the highlights. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.